first, the annual NRA convention kicks off in Dallas this week. As the city prepares for protest, we've learned the president will be in attendance. What's banned at this year's event as a result? Well, good morning. We're glad you're with us. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Karen Borda. The city of Dallas is preparing for a presidential visit later this week. President Trump set to address gun lobbyists at the NRA convention. CBS 11's Diana Rocco is live at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center with the newest information. Diana. Well, Russ and Karen, this would be the third time the president is set to address the NRA. While the White House is now finalizing those details, the NRA is set for their 147th annual meeting. The city is now getting ready for 80,000 convention goers and thousands more protesters. NRA signs are in place outside the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center this morning, and the city is now preparing for at least three protests and possibly counter protests. That has police setting up barricades. The Secret Service has banned guns from this year's convention due to the attendance of the president and the vice president. The NRA has been criticized in recent weeks over the school shooting in Parkland, Florida, igniting a countrywide gun debate. Well, President Trump has proposed plans to give teachers firearm training and urge Congress to make federal background check systems more effective. The city says they're still not sure what to expect this week. We got a better cause of protecting the president, the vice president, the NRA, the people that are going to come here uh, protesting, which they have the right to do. This convention is going to cost the taxpayers. I can't begin to put a number on what the cost is going to be. Uh, the convention in Dallas is going to be a huge boom for this economy here. I think it's going to be a boom for this area to see what the NRA is all about. And you can see we have some state troopers walking the area here this morning. The convention is set to begin on Thursday. The vice president will deliver the keynote address here at the convention center on Friday. We're live in Dallas. I'm Diana Rocco, CBS 11 News. Uh, Diana.